Welcome to my lecture online. Whenever we talk about voltage, we should actually be talking about voltage difference or potential difference, the difference in voltage between two points. Because saying that a point is at a particular voltage doesn't mean much unless we have some sort of reference point. What is the difference between that point and some other point? For example, let's say we have one point that's at zero volts and one point that's a thousand volts. In a way, that doesn't really mean a lot that one is the zero and one is the thousand. What matters is what is the difference between the two. And so we talk about the potential difference or the voltage difference, which is essentially the same thing. And we write it with a little delta symbol, delta V for voltage difference. And so we subtract one voltage from another. So we can write VB minus VA or VA minus VB. Now, what does that mean? Well, when we write it like this, VB minus VA, that means we have the change in voltage traveling from A to B. So here we're at A at zero volts and then we travel to B which is a thousand volts and so what we do is we take the voltage where we end up and subtract the voltage where we came from and that's then the voltage difference. So in this case VB minus VA would be a thousand volts minus zero volts which is a thousand volts. That's a thousand volts potential difference as we say it or voltage difference. But it could be that A is at 4,000 volts and B is at 5,000 volts and we want to know the difference between the two. So we measure the difference and so we travel from A to B and the voltage changes from 4,000 volts to 5,000 volts. So the difference in voltage, the difference in potential is 5,000 minus 4,000 or 1,000 volts. So the voltage difference or potential difference between A and B here is exactly the same as it is there. It's only the difference that matters, not what the actual values are. So, whenever we measure the voltage, what we essentially do is measure the difference between two points, one point and another point. Now, quite often, we take one point and we connect it to ground. We can connect it to the earth through some wiring and some post, metal post that we put into the ground, we connect that. And so that location that's connected to that wire that's connected to ground is then typically driven to about zero volts. So if that's the ground, if that's zero volts, then we measure some other point relative to that zero volts and that will give us the potential difference between ground and the point that we're measuring. So let's say we have another example here. Let's say we have A and B. A is at 200 volts and B is at 50 volts. And now we're going to measure the difference, but now we say VB minus VA. In other words, we start at A and we move to B and what is the potential difference? How does the voltage change when we travel from A to B. So we take the voltage to B, subtract from that the voltage to A, so we get 50 volts minus 200 volts, and we get minus 150 volts. What does that mean? That means when traveling from A to B, there's a 150 volt drop moving from A to B. And that's how we say it. there's a drop in voltage or there's a rise in voltage, which means there's either, either an increase or a decrease, there's a change, either positive change or negative change. And so that is always what we have to keep in mind when we talk about voltage. It's usually the difference in voltage that we're talking about. Now, we are going to see later that we'll have like the presence of a charge and we'll then measure the voltage at some distance from that charge. And that's all relative again to some voltage set at some distance away as a reference point. And we'll see how that works later. So even though we measure the voltage near a charge, and they'll say that point is at a particular voltage, it will still be in reference to some other point. So that we can never get away from, and that's why we need to make sure we have this concept straight. Now notice, delta V can be VB minus VA or VA minus VB, depending upon which way we want to travel to see that change in voltage. And that is how it's done.